So I work at uh, La Fourche. Just a few words. <clears throat> La Fourche is a um, is an online uh, organic only um, supermarket. It's based on a, on a membership model. Uh, basically, people pay a membership fee every year, and um, they get well. It allows us to lower our ma margin and propose discounts uh, up to like 50% in comparison to uh, to uh, classic supermarkets. Um, <clears throat> As of today, just very quickly, we have like about seven, I don't know if it's seven, 73,000 uh, members. Um, and we were part uh, of the actors uh, with Open Food Facts and, and others that launched uh, the EcoScore in January 2021. Yes. Um, and we were actually the first um, distributor to, um, to um, display the EcoScore, uh, not this one, well, you know it, we're not going to go through, um, to display the EcoScore on our website uh, digitally. Um, and I think what's important in our testimony is that we have, uh, well, we have the link with the final uh, chain, uh, with the final part of the, of the food system, which is the consumer. Um, and I think, yeah, this is the key element of, uh, of the EcoScore, is to, um, to share uh, reliable, uh, reliable information um, with the consumer and, uh, and the impact of the food they choose and gu guide them towards, uh, towards a more responsible consumption. Um, it's basically one key thing, I think, is the transparency and the open source of, uh, of the EcoScore, basically any kind of almost any, any type of consumer can go check if this is the right uh, echo score and if it's uh, properly labeled. Um, what we uh, found uh, is that, well, we have more or less, well, three, now it's, I think this is a bit, uh, not really up to date, but 3,500 3, products, um, they're all labeled. Um, most of them, because, well, thanks to the methodology, we, we're organic only, so this is actually pretty good. Um, yeah, 40% is B and 37% is A. I think this is still uh, quite, uh, quite up to date. And we, we do have products, for example, such as almonds uh, that come from Spain um, that are D uh, labeled, and others, uh, for example, coffee or chocolate that would be uh, also with a D or even an E sometimes. Um, what we found uh, after a year and a half now of experience with the EcoScore is that the first thing, it's very simple. Um, I would say, well, no, um, you know, we can stay there. It's very simple for us to set up. We don't even have to ask the producer. We just take the list, and that's for us very important because we have new products almost not every day, but every week or so. Um, so it's really easy to calculate. And mainly, uh, even more important, it's really easy for the consumer to, to understand. Um, it's really, like we were talking about it earlier, uh, it's really easy to see. Uh, we can pass the next one, because we also have our uh, own line of, um, I would say, products, which is uh, La Fourche products, what we tried to design it, and what we thought um, would be very important is for the consumer to see it uh, directly on the packaging because uh, digital is great uh, we are online uh, supermarket but for the consumer to really grasp the, the issue um, they have to see it in the end um, when you buy some flour it's good that you, you buy it online it's, you know that's eco score right? but when you receive it you know you see it and to really grasp the thing and have time to uh, understand and um, and take it into account. I think it's it's good that like uh, you see it, yeah, on the label. So we chose uh, to uh, to put it on our labels on our products, um, and well, it, it had quite a, a good uh, I think quite a good thing. Uh, we decided to be fully transparent. Like uh, for example, the C or a D would not be hidden. Um, the key for us is just to, uh, to be the most transparent as we can uh, with uh, our members. Because if they find out like uh, we try to hide something, I don't think they're going to be uh, too happy about it. Um, so yeah, today we have about uh, one fifth, one, 128, I think, products that are with EcoScore. Uh, and it's going to grow. Um, in the future. 
Um, last thing I wanted to say is whether it had an impact or not. Um, it's quite young, I would say. We're only a year and a half now. Um, basically, we, we wanted to see if people changed their habits. Um, so we did two things. Uh, first, we just asked them, uh, which is a uh, pretty basic, uh, but uh, we asked them about um, the criteria they use when they buy a product. Uh, this is a poll that we did, I think it was November 2021 or December 2021. Um, and eventually, uh, they do take it into account. It's not the major one. Uh, usually, well, I think now price would be a bit uh, uh, maybe first or second, um, but they look at origin, ingredients, price, taste, of course. Uh, if they like the product, but they do look at EcoScore after just one year. Uh, this is a fair trade. It's not uh, commerce. It's there's lacking a word, but fair trade and user score comes second for our members. It's not like uh, for the whole French population, but for our members, EcoScore is more important than than um, NutriScore or fair trade or the brand or etc. And what we also did, because sometimes just people say something and they do not actually do it, uh, we looked at our sales. Um, and this is 2020, so that's before uh, we, uh, we displayed the EcoScore. 20%, um, a bit more than 20% of our sales were products that would have been labeled with an A. And a year later, a year and a half later, after like a six months uh, of uh, EcoScore experience, I would say, it was three points more. Uh, that doesn't seem a lot, it's only three points, but for us it's major change. Um, there's maybe other, uh, other parts that to take into account in this. It's maybe not a causality, it's maybe a correlation, but still three points more uh, in A, EcoScore labeled in a year, not even a year. Uh, it shows that people do take it into account and when they see um, the product and they see the EcoScore, well, they change their habits, at least for now. Hopefully, it will be uh, even better in the future. Um, to conclude, just to say, uh, the EcoScore, I think, uh, kind of, we've been hearing a lot of, about changing food system from, like, farm to fork. I think the EcoScore is a bit changing that, uh, reversing that, uh, that thing. It's like uh, from fork to farm, like uh, the consumer just changes it, its habit and forces the whole system um, to, to change theirs. And I think uh, it's a good thing. I think, uh, yeah should be uh, pursued in the future. Thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs>